in this video I'm going to show you the solution of this following exercise so let us start from question number three set up the document space as mentioned below we have we have to select the paper size a4 page orientation portrait and the margin top one inch left side one inch right 1.5 and bottom 1.5 so let us move to the skeleton file and if you want to do the solution of the page setup then you have to go to layout tab and then the page setup group so if you open the dialog box you can see all other options here the margin already one inch left also one inch bottom will be 1.5 and the right side will change to 1.5 and this is the orientation option which is portrait then we'll go to the paper tab and here we'll select a4 size so you can see our page has been changed question number four check and correct grammar and spelling mistake as we can see there are some spelling mistake in our document for example the spelling of the word water so we can solve it either we can right click on the word but the word will show us the different suggestions so we can choose the right word and we can change then we can see there is another mistake reporter but as this is a name so we will not change it unless you are sure about that then we have another mistake here most customer so you can also right click and see the different suggestion and we can choose the right one question number five select the line memorandum novelty and copy apply the following font settings from the font group in home tab so we have to change these options like we have to change the font arial size 18 we have to make bold color we have to change the rate and alignment center so let us go to the document this is the line we are talking about so we select it and we can go to the home and font group here we can change the font arial font arial size 18 we will make bold you can change the color red we will make center question number six select the line how much lead is in your cup then use the font dialog box to apply the following font settings So let us see we have to select uh, this line how much lead is in your cup then we'll make it also arial size 26 we'll choose bold italic and underline the color we have to select dark blue this is dark blue now we have to choose the shadow effect we can go to this text effects and shadow and we'll choose outer shadow now question number seven select the word memorandum use the change case button in the font group on the home tab to select uppercase so we have to make the memorandum word uppercase so this is the word we select now we'll go to the font group and here we can see this is the change case button and we'll choose upper case to make all capital question number eight select the list of items starting with pin quality then format the list as a bulleted list so you can see there are some list item here bin quality water purity up to elapsed time from grinding bins to parking so we select this one now we'll make the 
a list bulleted list so you go to the bullet library in the paragraph and you see there are different bullets so to make sure which bullet you have to select you go to the output in the output you can see this is the bullet you have to choose so we can go to the bullet library again and select this bullet question number nine put a bottom border under the paragraph that begins with thanks for helping to make tea and coffee so we have to find this line you can see this is the line so you select it and the border option is in the paragraph we have border we select bottom border question number 10 set the indentation of the paragraph that starts with the memorandum 20 so you have to make the indentation of this paragraph memorandum paragraph 20 so to change the indentation we have to go to paragraph dialog box and we can see there are some indentation here left and right so left is already zero will make the right also zero now question number 11 also similar set up the indentation of the paragraph that starts with how much lead to zero so you select this paragraph how much lead again you go to the paragraph dialog box and we'll choose it also zero now the next question also also related to indentation set up the indentation of the three paragraphs that begin with just a reminder please don't forget and thanks for helping as mentioned below left indent will be zero right indent zero hanging indent 0 0.4 alignment justified and line spacing 1.5 so let us select those paragraph this is one of the paragraph just a reminder so we select it then this is another one so we press control and hold to select this one also and the last one is thanks for helping so after select selection we go to the paragraph dialog box here we can see indentation left is zero right is not zero so we'll make it zero then we'll make the special indentation hanging by 0.4 we'll make the alignment justified so this is the alignment option will make justified and line spacing will make 1.5 this is the line spacing option 1.5 so we can see these paragraphs have been changed question number 13 also similar but this is for another four paragraph so set up the indentation of four paragraphs that begins with caffeine is a product as employees most customers so hopefully as mentioned below left indent zero right indent will be zero first line indent 0.4 alignment like before justified and line spacing 1.5 so let us select caffeine is a product as employees then this one and the last one so we select four paragraph now we'll go to paragraph indentation and then here you can see indentation left zero but right is not zero so we'll make zero Special will make first line by 0.4 and line spacing will make 1.5 and alignment will make justified. So click OK. Now we can see these paragraphs also changed. Question number 14 Select the list of items starting with park coffee and ending with the T30 to 70 MZ. Use the tab dialog box. Why is tab dialog box? It is written in the bracket. Click on home, paragraph dialog box launcher, and then click on tabs. To set a left tab at one inch position, and set another left tab at the three inch position in dotted label. So you have to make two tabs, then we close the tab dialog box. So we select the list of items, park coffee to T. Then we'll go to the paragraph dialog box which is this one then here there is option called tab we open the tab now we can see there are no specific tab here only we have default tab 0.5 so what we are going to do we are make, going to make two tab here so first tab will make one inch we write one that will be left but there are no leader so we will not select any leader and then we we'll click set so one inch tab is created now we'll make three inch tab that is also left tab but there are dotted leader here so we'll select dots from here 
and then we'll click set. So you can see the one inch and three inch tabs are created. So now we click OK. Now we don't, the, the text didn't move, but we can see in the ruler there is a tab at one inch and three inch. That means the tab tabs are created. Now question number 15, we are going to move the text to the tabs. So position the insertion point to the left of our copy, then press tab key to move the first tab position, it to the first tab position, place the insertion point to the left of 9150 mg, then press the tab key to move it to the second tab position, and display the, the, and display the dotted header. Use similar process with the remaining two list item. So we take our insertion point at the beginning of our coffee. Now we'll press the tab key from the keyboard, which is located on top of caps key. So we press the tab key one time, and we can see that moved to one inch. We'll press the tab key again to move the numbers to three inch with the dot. Similarly, we'll do here. Okay. Now question number 16. Position the insertion point at the end of the line with 30 to 70 mg. Then press enter key to create a new line and add this fourth list item with appropriate tabs. Call us 30 to 45 mg. Basically, we are going to create one more line here. So we click at the end of the, this line and press enter key. You can see this makes a new line. So we'll press the tab to move it to the one inch and we'll write call us and press the tab again, we'll write 30 to 45 mg. Now question number 17, make a two column four row table at the end of the document, merge all cells in the first row, type PYP002 in the first row, type name, ID and section in the first column, type your own name, student ID and PYP002 section number in the second column. So we're going to make a table here. So we'll go at the end of the document. Now we'll go to insert to make a table. Insert, then you can see the table option here. And we can choose the table two by four, two column, four row. Now according to the question, we'll merge this two cell on the top row. So we select like this, then right click, there is option called merge. So this is merged. And if you see the output, we have to make a color here, and then we'll write the following as like this one. So here we'll make color. Again, we can right click, and there is a color option here, where we can select the color, and we write down PYP002 in the middle of the table as like this. And then we'll write here name, name, ID, and uh, section. Then we'll write down the answer. So here in this column, you write down your details. Now question number 18, insert the picture copy.jpg in the co empty line below the table. And we have to do go to the uh, insert tab and pictures. So we click at under the picture, go to insert pictures, and we have to insert copy.jpg. So the picture we can see here at the we'll make it middle center. Question number 19, insert the page number at the bottom of page in a format page X of Y, bold number two. And to do that, the instructions are given here. Go to insert tab, page number, bottom of page, 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 page select page X of Y and bold number two. So go to insert, page number, bottom of page. And you can see there are many different kind of format. So we'll scroll slowly, slowly, and we'll find the page X of Y, bold number two. So you can see the page number has been inserted. Now we can close the header footer to come back to the normal document. Now this is the last part where we have to add some character. At the end of the document, we write this one. 
so greater than less than question mark uh, dollar sign and some other character so you go at the end of the document and here we'll write uh, at first less than comma greater than question mark at the rate at dollar sign and the starting code and ending code remember the starting code and ending code you have to make it together uh, basically this will not be like this starting code and ending code you have to just make it together then you can make the space between them and then semicolon so this is all and we can check with our output which is similar to the output this is the end of this exercise thank you for watching